Hey everybody, this is Teresa. Welcome to my channel, Small Terra. I will be playing for you Kingdom Come Deliverance. It is made by Warhorse Studios. It is inspired by real historical events, real places, real names, real people, realness. I've put in about 30 or so hours um, <laughs> and probably watched an additional 30 or so hours of uh, other people playing this game. I'm, I love this game. It's it's fun, it's hysterical, it's challenging, and there's a lot of shenanigans to be had with it. So I'm pretty excited to get a new playthrough up and going. Uh, I, I have an idea of how I want to shape my Henry, which is who I will be playing as. It's, it's not a typical RPG, and yet it is. Um, <laughs> it goes very traditional in that we are playing a character versus making our own. So, if you are expecting me to play me, you're going to be disappointed because it's going to be some random guy named Henry. Pretty Trust me, it's cool. It's cool. It How they managed to pull this off is pretty great. So, what I will do, I will let the opening cinematic play. That gives a lot of lore and backstory and reasoning as to the events that go on. The prologue will get... Will take me some time to get through but overall i am ready to have some fun and i hope you are ready to Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins.
blessed. Same to you. Today's a scorcher. <laughs> Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up. Slugger Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Now don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Do I want speech, agility, vitality, or strength? Or do I want to focus on, like, options? Oh. So, I'm not too worried about strength. Uh, speech I am a little worried about. Ah, I can't decide. I can never decide. Why is this always the hardest decision? Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm not too worried about speech, strength, maybe agility. Oh yeah, I'll pick, I'll pick, I'll pick a joke. I went dancing. Yeah, I went dancing, Mom. Dancing? With Bianca. <laughs> ah, that's why you're tired. But you'll still have to work today. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. He's not suspicious. Why would I? Oh, okay, so see, I can even do even some more stuff. Um, so balancing it out, I already picked agility. I think I'll do vitality. I was with Bianca. Ah. Do you want a blow-by-blow blow account of everything we did? What's this? Uh, nobody wants an account. All right, all right. Sorry, son. It's just that I worry about you. Thanks, Ma, but I'm not four years old. I know how. You've grown up in front of my eyes. <laughs> it's hard to get oh, used to Oh, Henry's it. age. Oh, I've got a lot to say on Henry's age. i got a lot to say on all the ages of these NPCs. It's a, it, some of it just doesn't make any sense. All right, so now I can just sort of gather some general information. Have my friends been here? Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. You're useful. It shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Got it. All right. Well, tch, friends aren't drunks, Ma. Matthew and Fritz aren't drunkards. I never said they were, did I? And if I really minded you going for a beer with them, I'd have put a stop to it long ago. I was young once, too, you know. And your father was no angel when he was in Kuttenberg. Uh, give me an example. Of he wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? Ask him yourself. All right, I will. That's not an example. You're not a boy anymore, Henry. <laughs> You're a man, and it's time to start acting like one. Yesterday, you promised your father you'd help at the forge. If you made yourself useful now and then, I wouldn't mind your mischief-making so much. 
Uh, I'm hungry. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratsik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Huh. Yeah, what could go wrong? Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, end dialogue. Yes! So. We are in the town of Scallets. Look, there's some tutorials on how to eat. There's some good old... Can I get the apple? One. Three. Very exciting stuff. Uh, can I get that pouch? No? Oh, but the bread roll! Ah. Uh. Oh, man. Whoops. Don't punch the soup. Alright, this is where we woke up. Looking around. Eat from that pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I, I need to raid the house. You'll, you'll have to excuse me. And you see how there's an animation for like literally the most mundane things? It's great. Alright, so in this chest, I'm gonna go ahead and just take everything. Talk about it in a little bit before we leave the house. Um, so yeah. Probably go through here and get all the stuff in a little bit. So before I exit this door, you know what, I'll open it. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Alright, so there's a compass, go to father, yes, yes, yes. Alright, so this map I'm in love with because when you start out, obviously, you don't know the world. Zoom into scallops. Zoom in to scallops. And it goes into like, higher detail, I guess. And it always... Whatever area you're, you're in, the little zoom in map for that area always has like those little like trademark things that that town is known for. So Scalas is a mining town. You got the miners over here going to mines, which are basically in this area. I can go up to them, I think. I'm not sure if I can go in them. I actually haven't tried that. Uh, although in this uh, little tutorial area, I can't leave scallops this main area anything else will be different um so enough of that i am going to eat some more food mm, let me make a double check yep up to 90 that's very good so ah oh, you know what it's actually really important to talk about this so it wants me to go straight up and talk to father, which would be great and all, but he's like a hard save point, and saves are kind of limited right now. So what I personally am going to do, I'm going to go walk around the town, talk to some people, unlock some stuff. You'll notice the frame rate, like... I stand still and just look here. You know, I have the the meter in the corner, mostly for my usage. You guys don't have to worry about it. Um, there's a lot of stuff in this. Game. I try lowering the graphics sometimes, but like, it's just so pretty. They did such a good job, and I don't want to. Like, look at this. Look at this. All the NPCs walking around. Eternal daylight. It's so good. I'm discovering all the places just simply by walking by them and you know they if they have like the little icon 
can go and you'll see that same symbol on the signs. Pretty nice. So those look like my friends over there. Uh, Matthew and Fritz. You know what? Let's go talk to them. Not quite sure as to like what I want to get done first before talking to Father. You can't be serious, Grudge. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitors. Now even the Pope God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsches Spalling shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the Empire! <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. Now, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Kutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? The two I have you should give him a proper hiding. <sighs> Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parliament You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. Jesus. But, doing some tears all day. <laughs> yeah, let's just say? burn down his house. Oh, I was going to get that's too much? A, a few other things. <laughs> Guess we'll just We're throw finishing shit at it. Sword. <laughs> Come on, doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. Yeah. So, how? Are you with us? Mm. Yeah, I'll do oh, it. well. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. Yeah, Henry isn't exactly, like, the best base person. <laughs> Just gonna go casually throw shit at somebody's house for, you know, talking shit. Whatever. So, there's a lot of politics in this game. Which can be fun, can be confusing. Uh, I don't quite understand everything, but, you know, I try. I try my best. All right, discuss the plan and attack with your friends. Talk. Smart one. Smart one. <laughs> so are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a <laughs> Oh problem? yeah! Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Oh. Yeah. Henry's the clever one. Well then. 
Alright. Go ahead and ask. Uh, hey, what I'm the clever want, one. Well, you see, your husband's making I trouble. I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start <laughs> on about the popes. He might have mentioned the popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. I love all the little idle animations that all the NPCs will do while you're talking to them. It really, <laughs> it does give them some life. So I could go talk to them, or I could wait a little bit, a little bit, and uh, what? Station lost. Damn it! I wanted to go into the house. Fine. Yeah, let's just pick that up. Lovely sound effects. Ugh. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! Gross. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! So gross. Woohoo! Their hands. Eat shit, dodges. You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, hands! Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse hands! Let's make those smiles off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. Dude! Oh, <laughs> nasty! Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that! Oh, man! Seems like we gotta fight! Alright, unarmed combat! All these controls! Let's we'll see if I can remember them. I probably won't. I did play this before, but it's been a few <laughs> bubbly month. Let's do this. Ugh. I actually don't remember how to block. Crap. No, 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 no. I can do this too. Crap, my. Get your face. Get. Nah. I don't remember the controls. I'm just sort of spamming buttons. Yeah, you get down. You get down. Where's the other ones? Look like look like you need some help, friend. What are you doing? For God's sake! Stop right now! The cat's paw is on your way! Nah, I'm busy! Busy kicking their ass! Ah, damn it! Gotta run. Run, you cowards! Not cowards, we'll be back. I'll get ya. I'ma get ya. Alright. <laughs> I'm glad you came. Yeah, isn't that yeah. Yeah. Everybody loves Henry. It's pretty great. <laughs> uh okay, they're actually moving pretty quickly. I gotta run with them. So this this is a little um silly. And I would say it's a problem overall with this game. There are little things like this where it's like, yeah, you gotta follow this NPC. Or um you gotta go to this area, and then you actually have to wait for the NPCs to get there. So I know where they're going to. And I'm also sprinting ahead of them. So it's like, should I just go there? Should I just leave them behind? Should I run with them? I'm not even talking about anything interesting, guys. I'm talk about what we just did. Have some cool dialogue. Look out. No? This is great. I think they cut through. <laughs> yeah, let's run from the catch pole and run right by their freaking orders. 
I think it's that building. Man. Did I tell you about my wife's latest? Yeah, they only must use an asparagus. Well, upstairs, probably. Okay, let's get to go and let's go to where we need to go, right past all these guards and all this goodness. You there yet? You there yet, guys? How do you get over there? This guy. However, this is a meeting spot. Sort of near the house, but not really. What's up? What's up? What's up? We're all here. We sorted that Deutsch out. Yeah, we sure did. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> That guy. That guy. This guy and his freaking voice. Uh, hey, Fritz, let's talk a little bit. Anyway, nice job oh. at the door. <laughs> Fine. Never mind. That, that, he'll just repeat his, uh, <laughs> freaking laughter. Okay, so in addition to talking to Father, let's see where everybody. Let's see what else there is to do. I think we can go find Bianca. Talk to her. Really, no other main characters to talk about. Talk to. Bianca. 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 Hello, all. Bianca, there you are. Hey, lady. My lady. Look at you. Lovely boy. Yeah. Oh look, it could do some shopping. So Deutsch is saying. The Deutsch is mouthing off again. Oh, don't talk to me about him. He's a good customer, but when it comes to politics, he's unbearable. The number of times I had to throw him and the others out so they wouldn't start brawling. Well, I'd say he's an exceptional forum today. Let's talk trade. Look at me and my lovely zero gold. I'll do that. I don't need a haggle. If it's charcoal you want, talk to my hired hand. I've no time now. Fine. Talk to you anyway. See what these guys are talking. Alex. Here. If. Enjoy it. Jeez. <laughs> Enjoy it. Alright, so I think in terms of like main people to talk to, I think that's uh I think that's it. Linen fabric, dyed and plain, something for everyone. Okay. Cool. So what Garlic, onion, Oh my god. <laughs> Stop! Stop talking to me. Stop it. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do right now, I'm actually going to start doing some a little it's kind of exploitative, but not really. It's in the game. I'm allowed to do it. <laughs> uh, let's let's find the find a good area for me to do this. No, actually, we'll start here. So there are a couple of like core stats that I can go ahead and unlock. I'll show you. So under skills. Herbalism is what I'm going to start working on. I'm going to level this up. I think I can get it to max, actually, in the starting area. It just takes a little while. 
though there is flower power or I can get a charisma boost I have to have I think uh, at least 30 herbs total so I usually pick like the most mundane typical easy to farm thing uh, and then I'll try and unlock all of these um, I'm not too concerned about horse nip but I guess it's mainly botanist that I want so that I can get that 15% higher price and leg day so that while I'm picking herbs I can get strength too. That unlocks at 10 though. Let's see, and I think I only get a point, yeah, 5 and 10 so I'll have 2 points by then. I'll probably set it to I guess botanist and leg day. Same time, I'll do both of those. I'm just going to keep farming all the way up until then. Um, that way I can start to get through a good portion of the herbs. I can start to level up my strength. Um, let's see. Which, okay, so leveling up the strength is actually pretty good because then I can at least start to try and get meal one. Hopefully I can get to at least level four so that I can get that. Because uh, carry weight is a problem, and I hate it, and I want that perk before I actually really start the game. Okay, and the reason why I want to start here, I'm going to start gathering nettles with my bare hands. Anybody ever try and go up to nettles? You don't do that with your bare hands, but Henry does it with his bare hands, just like I handled all that shit, too. Alright. So, I reached a new level in herbalism, so I'll go and check that in player stats under skills. I'm now level 1. There's an experience bar showing me my progress. Um, I can see the exact points that I need, so I can be like, okay, picking one of this herb will give me this many points. If I want to keep track of it, I really don't need to. So, I'm working on nettles first because simultaneously working on herbalism and I'm going to get this really cool buff here. So once that pops up, I'll, I'll show ya. Alright, so reach another level in herbalism. And if I check on that, it's D at 2. I don't have that buff yet. I'm gonna keep picking all these nettle. Very exciting stuff, trust me. Okay, so there we go. New level, level 5. Short up there. So there we go, and I have a perk point here. It's done by that symbol. Resistance comes up. Ah, there we go. You've collected such a quantity of poisonous herbs or nettles that your vitality is permanently increased by plus two points. It's amazing. Look at that. That little buff bonus over there and it shows with the highlighted blue. So I'm going to go ahead and go all the way up to level 20. You guys don't need to see me do this. Uh, <laughs> this is probably a good, like, uh, streaming thing but in terms of a playthrough video i have the power of editing to get rid of that so again i'm gonna go through the town Woo! had a punch there for real quick to get back in uh, i'm gonna go through the town pick all the dandelions all the nettle get away from the pile of manure all the all the herbs there's different herbs there should be every almost every single herb. There's maybe like five or so that we can't find in scallops, which is cool. That's fine. We'll find them eventually. Um, it's ma mainly for alchemy and potion making or just like base trying to make some money. Uh, the most, I think, price worthy are this right here, the Sage and St. John's Wort, which is on the other side of town. So like, when I came down from home, if I were to head left instead of right like I did, day, Henry. hello to you, then I would find some St. John's Wort. And those are the two most profitable in terms of you don't need many to sell, to make the money. There's, let's see, Marigold, that's good to keep, but don't really need it until you actually learn alchemy. It's good for farming those alchemy potions though. Anyway, I am rambling about game mechanics I technically shouldn't even be worried about right now, except for getting my herbalism up so I can work on my strength at the same time, uh, max 
herbalism 20, probably get up to like 7 or so in strength. Uh, and then I'm gonna try my hand at getting me some free weapons. Because these guards standing around, hello, uh, they have weapons and armor that I can technically um, get for myself. Uh, I think there's somebody with a bow. I, I want to have the best start for my Henry. This Henry, Henry 3.0 for me, is going to be amazing. And I'm excited for it. Like, I got lucky with my second Henry in terms of just magically coming across the best, well, at that time, armor for myself. And looks like a beast. But... Anyway, once I get done picking herbs, leveling my own stuff, making money, I will get back onto the main Scallet's tutorial. Uh, everything will sort of flow together and I'll get everything done that I needed to, which is talk to Father. He gives me a couple of tasks. Get those done in a row because I won't need to do anything else. I am going to do my herbalism farming. Uh, strength farming, money farming, get all that done, and then I will start up my good old recording again so that I can get through the actual tutorial process of my father quest line, and then get out of Scalettes and go on Henry's good old way. Like, what's gonna happen? I know, but you guys don't know, so <laughs> I will play this for you so that you can see. It's gonna be fun. It's hilarious, it's tedious, it's, ta it's challenging, okay, but I love it, and you're gonna love it. So, thank you again, final time, for watching me go through this. I know it wasn't that very long, but trust me, once I get some of these little mundane tasks out the way, it's it's so worth it. You, you I, I would have to do this at some point anyway, so I'm gonna do it now, and then you guys don't have to. So, thank you again for watching. I will see you next time. Hopefully, let's see if we can get someone to say something nice about Henry real quick. And then we'll end on that note. And I hope to see you all in the next video. No one wants to say anything nice about Henry. Sorry. All right, bye.